All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the bishop, elders, the great millstone for teaching his word, the truth and sincerity for ruling well, and salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying. In the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and this is Brother Gabar Yahweh, from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another quick lesson, and it's on this video that apostle, Elder Apostle Tahar put up. On his page, uh, GMS declaring the end. All right, and uh, it's basically a picture, not a picture. It's a video, a video of a woman, a Jake woman, uh, seeing a chariot. You know, she was videotaping it from outside her car, and then she was in her car, and she can see it, and she got a better view of it. This is a disc-shaped chariot of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now she called on the wrong name when she was in the car. She called on Ahia and Yeshaya. You know, which shows that she probably following GLCC. But the real name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, And his name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. And these chariots, these so-called UFOs, these uh, UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, are, are, are really identifiable. And they're the chariots of the Lord. And they're showing themselves, man. And this is a sign for us that we're about to go home, man. We're about to get the hell up out of here. We're about to get the hell up out of captivity. And Yahweh Bashar Shah is about to bring his wrath upon his earth and destroy Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, that chariot is huge, man. That chariot alone could probably fit shit. When I'm looking at like a, a million people in it, man. Look how big that thing is, man. You know, look how big that, that one chariot is, man. You know? It ain't far-fetched that the whole world going to see Yahweh Shai standing up on top of one of them, man. You know? Coming like the king that he is. So let me play a little bit of this real quick. Because this is... Here it go. Here we go. Y'all see it now? Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Tell me they see this. Please. One of one of the three of y'all that's in here. Two of y'all. Y'all see this, right? Yeah, we see it. I'm not crazy. No, you're not. The sister's not crazy, man. You know what I mean? And it's crazy because she's the only one that's looking at it. Nobody else is looking at it. Everybody else is just driving along, going about their lives. But this woman is sitting here seeing it. She went live on her whatever, you know, chat that she's on, man. And you can clearly see it, man. Like Esau ain't gonna put this on the news. Cause like Elder Apostle said in the title, they're coming for you, E. They're coming for you, E. You know, the the the, the chariots are coming. The, the Israelite, the, the angels, which is our brothers, they're coming, man. <laughs> Yahweh <Yeah>, Shai <laughs> is our brother and our Lord and Savior. He's coming. This is Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the any nation be overpassed because that's what these chariots are bringing the indignation of the Lord, you know, along with the nuclear missiles that's going to be blowing this place the fucking smithereens, man. Okay, but the Lord is going to save his holy elect, Lord willing, where some of those men and women and children that'll be raised up into them chariots, this a chariot just like this, even bigger. Okay, and we're gonna be hid from the indignation of the Lord, man. Okay, and then Esau don't put this up because it's a curse unto him, man. Uh, uh, house of a thief, house of the thief, man. House of the thief, thief, thief. House of the Thief. Let me see what. Okay, I probably spelled that wrong. So I have to do it. Okay, I definitely spelled that wrong. Hold on. House of. This is uh. Let me see. This is a uh, Zechariah five and three. This, the, uh, matter of fact, let me just start at the top. This is Zechariah. This is Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Then I turn and lift up mine eyes 
and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and breadth of ten, thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as one on that side, according to it. And I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shai of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the, uh, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stone thereof. That's right. And that's what this that's what these chariots are. This chariot is a curse unto Esau. This is why he don't put it on the news. This is why he don't push it out. This is why he uh, demonizes the angels within these chariots. He says little green men from Mars. He say it's uh, some little slimy aliens and shit. No, these are our brothers. And they're in them, they're in them chariots. The Heavenly Father, he floats in a chariot. That's in the scriptures, man. Yahweh Shai is floats and is, is riding around on the chariot. Matter of fact, he's gonna come standing up on top of a chariot, man. It's his anyway. Okay, and this is this is our vehicle of extraction from this, this destruction because Esau is the thief. He stole us, man. He stole his land. This place is the most prominent house of the thief that he's ever had, man. You know? And he's guarding control around the world through it. But he can't beat this. He can't, you can't fight against something like this. Nobody can even hear this thing in the sky. You can just see it. And his sister is bugging out, you know, you know, looking for confirmation. Well, hey, sister, we see it, man. Okay, how about you know, Shai put that chariot down there, put you there so you can record it and so you could show us and that is building our faith up because these chariots are going to come not only are they going to come to save but they're going to come to destroy man and you see it you can't fight against this ain't no no fighter jet ain't no bomber ain't none of that no youtube bomber whatever they got can fight against something like this this thing is stealth all you see is the lights and the shape of it man <clears throat> and even then you still can't really see how big it is man <clears throat> but this thing got to be a couple miles long man easy more than that probably you know so we're, we're almost home this is a sign that we're almost home we're, we're about to get the fuck out of here it's going to be a rocky road on out of here but yeah, how about Shima Shah is going to be with us Lord willing we endure to the end Lord willing we are part of the holy elect Lord willing we can be saved up out of here man but this is a positive sign right here man there be many more with us than with them man you know what I'm saying how many angels up in there man who knows man on one could destroy the whole earth if it wanted to if it was given a, uh the job to do it but it's not gonna do it you know so sh man esau ain't ready man so yeah i just wanted to bring this out man we almost home let's definitely see shalom on to the next